Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, folks. This is Naeem Aslam, Chief Market Analyst from Evertrade. If you guys can see me, and if you guys can, uh, sorry, if you guys can hear me, and if you guys can also see my screen, please do let me know in yes or no questions. So if you can see me and if you can, um, you know, hear me as well, so please do let me know. Okay, so I get, I'm getting a lot of yes, so that's great. Wow, from all the way from Montreal. Uh, what time is in Montreal right now? Must be, there must be a lot of time difference in Montreal because over here is 1 p.m. London, in London. Oh, okay. 8 8 a.m. Wow, okay, that's that's not it's not too bad. That's not too bad. Yeah, okay. All right. So folks, a little bit about myself. Uh I come with a wealth of a 15 years of uh trading experience. During this period, I have worked as a hedge fund trader for Bank of New York Mellon and in equity trading with Bank of America. And currently I work as a chief market analyst for uh, Evertrade. So that's a little bit about myself. So in every Wednesday, we hold this masterclass during which uh, you know we cover various different topics from how to trade indices to how to trade stocks and of course, how to trade some important events with the likes of the US non-farm payroll and FOMC meeting. So um, just a bit later, before we begin anything, uh, my uh, so name is Naeem Aslam. Um, so if, if uh, some people are asking what is my name, so it's Naeem Aslam. I will, you will see a lot more details further. So before we continue any further, it is important for me to go through this uh, slide of disclaimer and risk warnings. Anything which will be discussed in this video cannot be perceived as an advice. If you are seeking for one please do consider consulting with your own financial advisors now as always the most important thing for you guys to get to know and of course uh you know if you want to learn uh if, if you wanted to interact with me on uh, on the social medias then the contact details are right in front of you and as always folks um it is quite imperative for me to mention the importance of Twitter because all the breaking news, especially these days, we're getting so much news in relation to Pfizer, in relation to Moderna, which are both working towards a potential coronavirus vaccine. All these news, uh, these sort of news, I'm bringing massive news in the market and volatility in the market whether we are talking about stocks whether we are talking about equities whether we are talking about forex or commodities so all that sort of information it is quite important for you guys to get straight from twitter if you are on twitter it makes things a lot more easier because you get mobile notifications straight away from the people that you follow of course my twitter handle is right in front of you which is naeem aslam 23 and for evertrade it is evertrade in addition i will show you how to find them on twitter in a bit and how to really go on about how to follow someone on twitter but if you really don't have a twitter account i will highly recommend you guys to uh to do that okay and uh in addition to that i also we also have two uh our, our youtube channel ever trade and my youtube channel is naeem aslam just just naeem aslam on a daily basis i produce two different sort of videos one is the fundamental video analysis uh during which you know i give you information in a very small digestible manner so that you can listen to that information you can understand what really it means in terms of that information in addition to that i also produce technical analysis video for those investors and traders who do have a know-how about trading and then they can they wanted to learn a little bit more about it and then just getting a confirmation in relation to your support and resistance zone support means your buy zone and resistance your sell zone so let's have a look at it how to really find that sort of information so let me uh 
let me just bring the uh, Twitter accounts up for you guys. So here we go. So folks, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, so this is my Twitter account right over here. And then you can see that I am very, very active. So just when you go over here, you will see the notification bell sign over here. So just click that and then you will have all of that. So you can see that I'm fairly very active, giving you information about Profiza, what exactly is going on. I'm currently conducting a, uh, you know, we are a, a pan. Let's say that we're doing this sort of a voting on 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 this one as well. So we're asking you guys that what is your price projection for Bitcoin for the for the next year? So a lot of people, as you can see, they they think that Bitcoin is going to easily touch hundred thousand. And then the second answer, the the the, the second famous answer is uh, to ten thousand by next year again. So some people do believe that 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 is going to go down. So as you can see, the most, one person has. We have another vote just here, forty five votes. As we still have two days left, and then twenty two percent people think that it is going to go to fifty k, and then some people, ten percent people believe that it is going to be in 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 around thirty five k. So you know, it's it's really for you guys to get engaged and then get the conversation going and then several other videos that I produce on a daily basis we produce all the links for them and uh, so this was our recent podcast by Evertrade so this is well worth it for you guys to have a listen to that as well for Evertrade it is the make sure that when you are following you're following the right account with the tick mark signed on it and then we have throughout the day you know several different tweets going on over here as well as you can see they're quite useful you know in terms of economic numbers and you see that the same uh, podcast is over here as well so make sure that you guys are getting engaged to that podcast and you guys are listening to that as well and in terms of a youtube channel as you can see that that is the youtube channel right over here naeem aslam so if you will type it it will come straight up and then uh you know in in if, if you wanted to hear that you know what our thoughts are in the media so these are the recent tv interviews that i have done and then macro videos on a daily basis that we really talk about gold price analysis oil price analysis analysis u.s stock and indices again we there's a lot of information in relation to that for in forex and uh, in more recently you know we're talking quite a lot in bitcoin as well so have a have a look on all of these ones i think they could they could be very very important and quite intriguing for you guys to have a look at it as well uh similarly for ever trade what we have over here is this is the Evertrades channel. And then, you know, we have live Q&A sessions for you guys during which you can ask any questions that you want. Uh, and uh, a lot of uh, all the previous webinar, their recordings are over here as well. Uh, so it's, it gives you really an opportunity to go over and then and learn and then listen to those webinars once again. In addition to that, you have an introduction, what is an ETF, what is a bond and other educational material over there as well. Now, let's get back to our presentation and then let's see what exactly is on the agenda. But before we do, what I want you to go through is that Evertrade's unique technology, which is called Everprotect, and it is a revolutionary one-click risk management tool available on Evertrade Web Trader and on the Evertrade Go. With Protect, you can purchase protection against loss for a defined period after opening a position if the protection ends you may uh, you have an, uh, have an open position that is losing ever trade will reimburse the loss directly into your account the only cost is the ever protect fee itself now in terms of our agenda what we're going to do is we're going to today going to take a little bit on a higher level uh, and then we are by high level is we are going to look at the fund flow we're going to see that how investors are dealing with the current market institutional mutual funds hedge funds are they buying into those ones or are they studying into those the, into these rallies so today's webinar is a little bit a high, at, a, at a higher level but I will bring things down to explain why to trade indices, the inverse of indices, defining levels and strategies. So the first question, why to trade indices? Because it is the best way to deploy your capital, especially when you have a very small capital. It helps you 
uh, to have a vast diversification at the same time as well, because you know you can't invest your money in every single asset that you have, uh, because you won't have enough money, especially when you are running a small account by investing into an index. You know you have an exposure to all the stocks. So in case of Dow Jones, you have access to all the 30 top the Dow uh, 30 stock. In terms of S and P 500, you have uh, America's top 500 companies in that. In terms of a Nasdaq you have the top 100 tech companies from America. So that is pretty much the benefit of doing that. Now, let me bring out the fun flow and then let me just show you what exactly I mean by that. So the platform that I'm bringing right now in front of you guys. This is the Bloomberg platform. Uh, obviously, it comes with a very heavy subscription. So don't worry too much about it that, uh, you know, the, you guys don't have it. But these, this is why we are holding these webinars. And if you have any questions in relation to them, you know, always feel free to ask me on Twitter uh, and get engaged into the conversations like that. And then I can help you to, to you know, to, to, to find what you're exactly looking for. So now I'm going to do is fun flow. And what we have over here is a spider, which is the S&P 500 index. I'm going to change the fun flow to a different panel um to make it a little bit more exciting for us and then from line i'm going to change it into a histogram so that it can visually make a lot more sense for you guys and now there you go so let's get rid of volume now over here this is what it shows you that how investors are really dealing with the market. Are they putting money into the market or are they getting the money out of the market? So you can see that in this particular month, investors are mostly, so if I just change this from daily to monthly or even weekly, let's say, that gives you a little bit better confirmation. You can see that investors have been pouring money in uh you know at the uh, in in this particular month clearly you know the, the biggest drawdowns happened back in march uh on the on the last week of march but then after that the market reversed its direction but now we are seeing big money coming in but at the same time you know um uh, we, we are not seeing that sort of a massive, massive momentum that we were really looking for because uh, that big uh, fun flow happened when the went right over here during September last year. So, you know, there's a still a lot more chances for this fund flow to improve. So that is this is what you call your fund flow because this is your S&P 500 ETF. And then this shows you the positions by institutional investors and traders and by mutual funds funds that how they are really investing their money into the market now does that make difference because i know it is a little bit little bit complex so i just want you guys to understand okay so someone is asking me what is your btc forecast so you know again the btc forecast let me just go back to that because i did do uh, a chart earlier on btc on crypto so and let me just bring that chart up so there you go so that's the chart right in front of you so what this chart really tells you is that i'm really measuring the move from the highs and the lows that we formed and i'm projecting that above this particular zone of twenty thousand. so this is really taking us to thirty five thousand. that's why i have a thirty five thousand price level over here i think it is very very likely but going into next year i think this hundred thousand is extremely extremely likely i don't think that the price is going to stay much lower than where it is now uh, so yeah so the retracement is due but overall the price trend looks immensely positive so does this make sense any questions so far with relation to fund flow because the reason that i look at the fund flow is because this gives you the actual information about institutional and hedge fund traders whether they are buying or whether they are selling so by looking at the fund flow the very easy answer 
is that institutional and hedge funds are actually buying as the market is going higher, meaning they are enthusiastic about the new president-elect Joe Biden and his policies. B, they are also confident that you know this coronavirus vaccine is going to work and it is going to control the pandemic on a global basis. So that is why we are seeing this one. So you can't access this sort of a data if you don't have a Bloomberg. Obviously, this is why the, uh, I'm, I'm referring you guys to get involved on Twitter. Ask me those sort of questions, and I can ask, I can answer all of those sort of all those sort of questions to you guys. Now let's get back to our lovely MT4 platform. And then uh, see. So sorry, I'm just reading some questions at the same time as well. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. So on a, on a on a MT4 platform, what we're really looking at in terms of a price action for the indexes, it was the we first of all we're looking at the daily chart, and we have three different moving averages. First, it, it, this is your 50-day simple moving average, followed by your 100-day simple moving average, and finally your 200-day simple moving average. The um, the way to trade these ones is very very easy because the moment the price you know goes above the 50 day simple moving average all what you do then is you pray you buy the market so pretty much you know you will go long in uh on the basis of that and then just like how it happened over here the market moved higher and then over here again the market moved higher and then over here if the price drops below that the price you know you go short it happened over here it happened over here as well but for a brief moment and again the price crossed above the 50 day simple moving average and then the price continued its journey to all the way to its um you know to 20000 price level so right now we are sorry it's, it's, it's all time high so right now uh, we are about to cross once again the all-time high because the all-time high it was formed last week on Monday when the vaccine news came initially because this particular candle went all the way to here as I can show you over here and then at the close the candle started to move lower and then what happened was actually that the price closed very close to its its opening price, and then that left the you know a lot of uh, people are saying audio is not working. Can everyone everyone can hear me? Okay, so it's only one person. Probably something to do with your mic than anything else. So with respect so i want i want really i want you guys to really pay attention to this particular candle which was formed on monday so when the price closed in around this price level there were a lot of concerns at the time that look this particular price action doesn't really look that great because the price should have closed somewhere halfway this particular candle not leaving this huge wick out like the way that it did So what happened in the following days is that obviously price started to move lower and then it was that, OK, you know, what is the low for the last week and then what is the high for the, for, uh, the recent high? The price started to move within that range and we had that consolidation for two days and then after that consolidation, the price broke out of it and then started to move higher. Now, once again, from here to here, the price is starting to move lower. But this previous all-time high has become a support, and the expectation is that today we are going to see a move which will, you know, today and in the coming days, that which will push the markets higher because the U.S. futures are trading to the upside. So that is quite 
positive in terms of the S&P 500 index. Now, let me have a look at the uh, Dow Jones and then uh, quickly NASDAQ. We'll also look at the DAX index as well. So if, uh, don't worry about that at all. So now let's look at the Dow Jones. So similar price action over here as well. And then when we look on the weekly time frame, this was the candle which was formed last Monday. But obviously the close of this candle was much higher as compared to the close of the S&P 500 index, which was very, very bearish. This is why, you know, when these candles, they form, they don't necessarily mean that, that there's a bearish pattern has formed. You have to read the price very carefully, and then you have to form an opinion in conjunction with everything else. Now, the fact that the uh, Dow John didn't give us that weaker signal, it became very clear that the markets are ready to move higher. And then that is, what we have experienced in the following days because after forming an initial slight low right over here the market was quick on its feet and then it started to recover from here and then it moved higher as you can see over here now obviously the market is trading near its all-time high and it is likely that we will continue our journey above this particular price zone very very possible now one thing to keep in mind is that the price is trading very far from its 200 day sorry 50 day simple moving average and also its 100 day simple moving average and finally its 200 day simple moving average now historically speaking Whenever that happens, the price usually reverts back to its, uh, its moving averages because we have seen that over here when the price started to move higher like that, it reverts to, to its 50 day simple moving average, then towards its 100 day simple moving average. And over here, the price actually did revert to its 200 day simple moving average and it stayed above that 200 day simple moving average and it started to move higher. So in terms of opportunities for you guys in with respect to the dow john index the opportunities for me from my point of view when i look at this particular price level is that okay we need to adjust our support level once again and then we have to raise that support level a little bit more so we just go right over here let's say possibly over here because obviously this is the point where the price did reverse and then it, it went back up. So if the price does come over here, that is great. Otherwise, we'll just wait for a better level to form. In terms of a resistance, 20,000 remains as an important level of resistance, but this is also an equally important area of resistance for the price. So keep an eye how the price will enter, how the price will leave, this particular zones and that will really form the basis of everything else. Now, in terms of Bitcoin, because earlier there were questions about Bitcoin, you know, the opportunity was really in the morning, early in the morning when the price dropped below the 50 day simple moving average on the 30 day simple, uh, 30 day uh, uh, time for, on 30 minute time frame. Now, ever since the price has moved back above the 50 day simple moving average but despite all of that the price did close in negative territory meaning you're just a little down so what we got to do from uh, with respect sorry 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 um uh, sorry just disregard that comment um so uh, i was looking at something else Okay, so with respect to the uh, BTC, what we're really looking at that, yes, the price did close below the 50 day simple moving average, and that was a big opportunity to get back into the trade. A new opportunity could be coming right over here uh, because the prices are approaching towards this 50 day simple moving average. But on the daily time frame, the prices are looking very fairly bullish we have crossed above this particular resistance zone. Now we are seeing a little bit of a retracement, which is very, very common. There's nothing to worry about that. So either you can put your stop losses or your buy trades according to 30 minute time frame, or you can go in onto your four hour time frame and then see what exactly the prices are doing. If you are trading on a four hour time frame, I would really to like to buy the market this particular somewhere near the 50 day simple moving average. However, 
if you are trading on the simple uh, 30 day simple moving average i will like to buy it somewhere near the 50 day simple moving average but just keep the stop loss very very tight because the next price level that we'll be looking at is going to be near 100 day simple moving average which is already marked onto the chart now quickly have a looks look at dax because someone was asking me about dax so when i look at the dax index on the daily time frame what i see is that yes the recovery is happening the recovery is healthy we've seen this massive blow to the downside right over here when the coronavirus cases started to 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 take higher now obviously the optimism has started to break back into it but when the price was trading in around this one this was a really really good opportunity because in terms of price levels what you want to see is you want the price to come into a level where it is comfortable for you to call it a you know to, to call it an opportunity so for that reason you know what you're really looking at is this area because this is where the uh, rally started for for this particular one and then if we coincide this one with the four hour time frame what we see is that the price has no Oh yeah, because she has very, very big target. Because on the four on the daily time frame, yeah, there you go. Now it, it is on. So so this is the area where we are really looking to buy uh the DAX index on the daily time frame. Obviously, that could be very, very late on the on the on the uh daily time frame. On the 30 minute time frame, what we are really looking at, if you wanted to enter into this DAX index, sorry, uh, again about this little bit of confusion. So if you really wanted to add into this, if you really wanted to get back into the trade, then look for these particular areas on a 30 minute time frame. See if you can really get back into that and then how, and then let the move continue. Similarly, uh, with the daily time frame, I think these areas do have a potential. But if you are trading off the daily potential, then keep your eye on on the 50 and 100 day simple moving average. And if you can buy somewhere near that, that can really help and help the markets to push higher. Now, lastly and finally, the Nasdaq index is still under immense pressure. Overall movement is very much a sideway movement. This being top, this being bottom, the prices are very much trading in a sideway direction, but the momentum remains positive because the prices are trading above the 50 and 100 day simple moving averages. So that's pretty much from my side, folks. And then I see that you guys haven't asked too many questions over here. But if you have any further questions, feel free to come on YouTube. Feel free to come on Twitter. Once again, I'm going to put those ones uh, in front of you guys just for you guys to see them. So this is the uh, you know YouTube channel uh, right over here. As you can see, Naeem Aslam is from me. Our trades is ever trade. Uh, you know, there's no doubt about that right over here uh, on Twitter. This is the Evertrade's Twitter, which is, uh, you know, Evertrade. And then my Twitter is obviously Naeem Aslam 23, which is right here in front of you. So that's what we are really looking at. Thank you so much for uh, coming and for joining today. I greatly appreciate that. And then we'll see you same place, same time next week.